So we're going to need 16 pieces of the M2.5 Star 8 Copper Standoff and 16 of the M2.5 Nuts. Uh, so there, if you look at this thing here, you'll see all these uh, smaller holes. Uh, there are 16 of them, so we're just going to install those. Um, and those go on the top side. So, go ahead and get out your 16 and just start putting them all in like this, putting the nut on, tightening them down. Uh, by the way, um, I found that I'm really glad SparkFun has posted their manual online uh, because the printed book version is sometimes a little dark and it's hard to see certain details uh, but the online book the pictures are much brighter and easier to see and you can zoom in and so on one thing I noticed at this point was that they did use these two back holes I could see that from the online manual they left these two in their pictures online these two are missing uh, so I don't know. They're, I know there's, they're going to mount the camera plate here, so later on we might have to take uh, and make some uh, modification there. But for now, I'll go ahead and install these uh, 16 standoffs uh, on the top side. You can see that I have the 16 standoffs in. Take note of which holes did not get the standoffs. They're the larger holes. Uh, so the standoffs should be in this position uh, in all the smaller holes. Um, that was uh, a little tedious because the nuts are so tiny. Uh, what I discovered is that some of the nuts and potentially some of the standoffs might not be well machined. What I mean by that is that their threads might be you know some uh, variation in the quality of the threads and so if you're sitting here and you're trying to get it on you're trying to get it on, it just won't go on just try another nut uh, don't get frustrated but uh, it's possible that you've got some bad nuts in the bag I don't like bad nuts I have my 3 16 nut driver and my 5 millimeter wrench and then just go through and tighten all of these until they're good and tight. Okay, now I'll go find the motor driver or the motor assembly. And we are going to install that uh, onto this plate with the two motor uh, ends hanging out the back there. And you will need the M3 star 8 screw for this, four of those. Now, I'm not sure how these motor wires are going to come up. I don't see any holes in here for the motor wires to kind of push through, so I'm guessing that we want these motor wires coming up from the back here, so maybe now's a good time to fish these through. And now you can see why it's a good idea to have those strain reliefs on the wires. <coughs> so let's have the wires coming out the back here like this. And we've got all the screws in, so let's tighten them down. 